Hello, this is an impromptu live because I wanted to, a few people, more than a few people now have said, well, where are, I said that I was going to do a tutorial that would be up on yesterday, which was Wednesday. I announced that in uh, the live on Saturday night. I said it would be up um, today. Anyway, it, um, it, it got, it wasn't, um, I, oh, how can I say it? The video was just not, did not look good to me. And, um, I had used a different camera and it was just not doing good stuff. So what I wanted to do was, um, just come on here to let you know the dish towel and the washcloth, the washcloth dish towel video is coming. It, hopefully it'll be up by tonight, maybe sooner. And so I just wanted to say this is not the tutorial, but the tutorial is coming. So for those of you who are anxious to get started, I can go ahead and tell you that you're going to need um, the cotton yarn. Let me go over here and just show you what's going on over here. Uh, let's see. We have, you're going to need, uh, first of all, it doesn't matter what size um, loom you have. I'm going to de be demonstrating on a loom that has 24 pegs, but you can demonstrate on a loom. Uh, you can use any size loom. Something, I'm going to have to go out and come back in. Something is very... <laughs> okay, there you go. So I wanted to just say, if you want to get started, I'm going to show you what you're going to need. You're going to need a loom with at least 21 pegs. It doesn't matter what size your loom is. This one has 41. We could use this, but I'm going to be using one that's 24. As long as it has 20 pegs on it, we're good to go. So you want a loom, you want 20 pegs, because I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a dish cloth, wash cloth that is eight inches by eight inches. So you want 21 pegs. You're going to need some cotton yarn. You want 100% cotton. I'm going to explain, and I explained in the uh, video that I had done, but I wasn't happy with that video. I want to redo it. Um, I threw this one. This is the one I threw in the wash with my laundry the other day. And um, it comes back even better once it's been washed. But I believe the key is 100% cotton. So the cotton yarn that I'm using is from Lion Brand. It is Lion Brand 24-7 cotton. And instead of using one strand of the cotton, we're going to put two together like that, we're gonna use two strands to um, do our project. So um, that's what you're gonna need. I'm gonna come back later with, hi, Norma. <laughs> hi, Norma, how you doing this morning? This is totally impromptu. I didn't know if anybody would be here or not, but there were a few people, let me go back over here so you can see me. But there were, were a few people, Norma, who were asking because I try to be a woman of my word, and I said I was going to have the tutorial up. Hi, Joanne. <laughs> you know, on Saturday, I said I was going to have the washcloth tutorial up, and I said I was going to have it up on Wednesday. Well, yesterday was Wednesday. Well, and it made me feel good, but it also made me feel a little bad that I hadn't done it. But people were saying, well, are you going to do the tutorial? It's Wednesday. Where's the washcloth tutorial? And so I, I did a tutorial and I wasn't happy with it. I felt that the camera, you really couldn't see things very well. And the camera, hi, Effie. <laughs> good morning. Hi, everybody. So this is really just a live to say, why uh, to say that the dish cloth tutorial is coming uh, at least by tonight. I'll have it up. And so that's really all I wanted to say. I'm so happy to see y'all here. How's everybody doing? How's everybody holding up these days? It's good to see you. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to be signing off then um, unless there are any questions or anything. So let me tell you, though, these washcloths are really, really good. And one thing that I discovered also, as I was saying before, I actually threw this in my washer and my dryer the other day, and it came out nicer. And one thing that I really believe, too, is that these, you if you want to make this bigger, 
you can make a uh, actually make a bath mat because it's really it feels good and it's really absorbent so that's the tutorial i'm going to get up for tonight i thank you all uh for being here and all the people that will see this hopefully later who have questions about where the dish washcloth dish cloth tutorial is so i've been making all kinds of dish cloths washcloths and i think they're really good i can hardly wait i haven't used it yet but i can hardly wait to use it on my body because it feels really good i think you got to use 100 percent cotton and then wash it first and then i think you're going to have a really nice thing and it's really basically very simple to make so i'm going to do that tutorial all right love to see y'all Okay, you all have the best day ever. I'm going to go now so that I can actually do the tutorial uh, that I said I would do. And I'm so sorry that it's, uh, well, it's a day late. I'm sorry to be a day late. Okay, love you all. Bye-bye now. I'm going to go away. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's Jamie. Jamie was one of, I think Jamie, Jamie, were, were you one of the people? I don't, you know what it is? I never need a tissue. I really don't. My nose is fine. I'm good until I start doing a live. Whenever I'm doing a live, for some reason, I need a tissue. Jamie, good to see you. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Courtney Ann. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Norma. Thank you. I hope that you have a great day too. All right. So like I said, I basically wanted to do this video for the people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it really, it really warmed my heart to when people asked, I wasn't frustrated or I felt actually, I felt really good that people, I said, oh my God, they want to see my tutorials. And that made me feel really good. And the, the only thing that I felt bad about is that I didn't have it when I said I was going to, um, let me bring some of you, let me give y'all some of y'all some FaceTime since you're here. Well, Norma, cause I said I was leaving. So Norma probably She's saying goodbye because I was getting ready to say goodbye. So we have Norma. Norma's here this morning. And we have, who else is here? Joanne. We have Joanne. And Joanne, let's see, who lives in, which one of you all, are, one of you are, are in the UK, right? In the UK. And then Jamie, well, Courtney. Let's get Courtney. Effie, I forgot Effie. Hi, Effie. Effie's here. And Jamie is <laughs> Jamie Long. And let's give Courtney a little bit. Courtney. And then, um, yes. Okay. <laughs> I do not get a notification that, you know what? I just, um, I didn't schedule it. So, and this is not the real live live. I didn't schedule it, so maybe that's why you didn't get the notification because I didn't schedule it. I was really um, de trying to decide whether I wanted to do just a recorded video to say where the washcloth tutorial is or if I just wanted to go on live and do it. So there wasn't, this is not the real live live. The real live live is gonna, it's still Saturday at 6 p.m. So. Okay. Okay. Joanne. Yes. Joanne is in the UK. So uh, let me see. Um, Courtney says, I have turned on the notifications. Okay. Okay. I have turned in. Still don't get. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to check into that. I know some other channels have been saying that people haven't been getting their notifications either. I don't know if it's a YouTube thing. YouTube did announce that because of, you know, the situation we're going in with the, the shutdown and everything that they had to cut back on their staff. And so I don't know if that's one of the reasons why people aren't getting the notifications. Let's see here. Uh, there's, uh, um, but I'm going to check into that. All right. And so, hi, Lisa from Maryland. Lisa says she's new. Thank you for joining us. Lisa, this is not the real live live. <laughs> That's usually on Saturday at six now. I um let me let me explain to Lisa what happened because she's new, <laughs> and uh, we welcome you. We all do. Uh, what happened, Lisa? Is on the live on. I had said a few weeks back that I was going to do tutorials on how to do the dishcloths, the washcloths, and 
I on Saturday, someone said, well, when are you going to do that tutorial? And I said, I'll have it up by Wednesday. Well, on Wednesday, a few people were saying, well, where's the tutorial? <laughs> and like I said, it made me feel good. I was, I couldn't, I was not perplexed or I just made, it made me feel good that people wanted to see it. But at the same time, I felt bad because I hadn't finished it. And when I did finish it, it wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't happy with it. So I want to redo it. Thank you, Lisa, for being here. And so, and Jamie says she got the notification. Okay, so then um, I'm thinking there's something weird going on. I've been hearing that from a lot of channels where a lot of their subscribers don't get notifications. Um, I don't know. I will see who you talk to about that. I don't know. I'm going to try to figure out what's happening or what the remedy is for that. Um, I will address that issue. But Jamie got the notification and let me see. Um, Loretta, Loretta from South Carolina is here. And um, before I was explaining earlier, some of you heard me. I never need a tissue. I never, I don't have any kind of issues going on here, except when I go live. And when I go live, I need a tissue because my nose does seem okay. I'm getting behind South Carolina, and then we have Courtney's in Pittsburgh. Okay, and of course, you all know that I am in New York City. Let's see, Jamie Long is saying it's okay, we all make mistakes, and you take your time. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm gonna actually, you would you like to actually see just a little clip of what it is? Do I still have it here? I had something okay, I think this is it. So what you're about to see now is not the tutorial. This is the one that I'm not happy with. This is just a little clip from it. And one of the things that you'll notice is that it goes like this. Because the camera, I had a face recognition thing on the camera that I didn't know was on. And so it kept trying to find the face. And so to watch that video, you could literally get uh, seasick. I'm going to come back to everybody. I'm just going to show you what the video looked like that I didn't want this. We're going to be knitting, but remember that you have four, there are four threads now, and we're going to pull those up. And we're just going to treat them as if they were just regular threads. We're going to treat these four as if they're one. Okay, now that's the video that I'm that I'm not happy, the tutorial I'm not happy with. I didn't like that I used that craft table with the with the with the measurements all over it. And I and I don't know if you noticed, but the camera was going in and out, in and out. It wasn't a steady camera. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna redo it and I'm gonna make it nice. Cause we always like to do things nice and easy. I'm going to take the beginning of that video and I'm going to do it nice and easy because we always like to do things nice and easy. <laughs> That's the way we do <laughs> our washcloths. I don't know. That was a bad imitation of Tina Turner. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. Um, okay. So then, um, um, <laughs> Lisa say, okay, thanks. And then Courtney says, I'm working on a loom knit snake. <laughs> For real? I mean, you want it to be a snake. It's not a scarf that's turning into a snake. You're loom knitting a snake. That's great. All right. And then, um, hi, Lisa. Welcome. So Effie is welcoming you, Lisa. That's great. Okay. So we all welcome you, Lisa. <laughs> and then we have Joanne says, hi, love you. And Lisa, Lisa, you're getting so much love today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, great. And she's saying hi, Joanne and Effie back. And and Jamie is, welcome, Lisa. <laughs> and Norma, uh, 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 okay, Norma said she got her notification. So, oh, look who's here. I see Debbie. <laughs> Debbie says, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. So this is just the... You know what, too? Um, 
yeah, I don't even know if I put a description, except I didn't put it even a description. I guess I'll do that later. But uh, for those joining late, this is not the real live live. This is just the announcement because people were hitting me up. Is that how they say it on the street? People were hitting me up and they were saying, where's the washcloth tutorial? So I want to say that is coming. Uh, let's see. So that's Debbie and... And Effie's that gives a smiley face. And then let's see, we got here. We got Lisa Mary Kay. Oh, you are uh you are a Mary Kay consultant. Okay. Do I I used to use Mary Kay. I haven't used them in a while, but that's good to know. Anybody with needing some Mary Kay or looking for a Mary Kay consultant? Then we got Lisa in the house. <laughs> Very good. Okay, and we got Sandra Boyd. <laughs> oh, the Tina. <laughs> Because we always like to do our tutorials nice and easy. That's the way we do it. But every now and then, well, let me tell you, that tutorial I was doing yesterday, it got nice and rough. It was it was not so good. Okay. So we got uh, Sandra. Sandra, always good to see you. Effie's laughing here. And then <laughs> I love to make all different kinds of animals on looms. Okay. That's great because one day I remember Sandra suggested that we do a luminate bird. Now Sandra were, but I never knew if Sandra was just trolling me or if she was serious about making birds. Were you serious, Sandra? When we were asking that day for uh, suggestions about things we could do. And I remember you said that you, let's make some birds. I don't know, <laughs> but Courtney, Courtney is making all kinds of animals with the looms. Courtney, if you would like to send pictures and I could share them on the lives or, you know, uh, if you would like to do that, you can send them to the channel, uh, attach them to an email and send them to wambui at wambuimadeit.com. I would get the photographs. And if you want me to share some, I would, because um, that sounds pretty interesting and exciting. Okay. So we have uh, Effie <laughs> is laughing there. And then... Courtney says, oh, Court, we already did these. Okay, I'm losing. Okay, all right. <laughs> and so we have, oh, okay. So she says, no, I actually just stopped selling Mary Kay, but I have a friend that sells it. Okay, so she's no longer a consultant herself, but if you do want some, she can hook you up. Right, Lisa? <laughs> okay. And then, of course, we have... Um, 50 something here. Hello, 50 something. This is just an improv tune. This is not the live live. I was coming on live to tell the people know why I didn't have the tutorial up yet for the dishcloths. And then Sandra is saying, yes. I, um, oh, you saw some. Okay. So Sandra said she had seen some crochet birds online. And so, so Courtney is making animals so maybe we can, maybe give, Courtney can give us some hints because I've never crocheted a figure using loom knitting. So maybe you can do that. Always good to see you. Um, 50 something, Sandra. Let's see, that's what Sandra said. Yeah, Sandra said she's, she saw it online, the crochet birds. So thank you, Sandra. <laughs> and uh, let's see, and there's Jen, this and that, hello. And, um, <laughs> okay, so we, am I, I'm, seems like I'm going backwards. Am I going, oh, wait a minute. He says, I have a loom knitting book of different animals that you can make on a loom. Oh, really? Oh, well, maybe you want to share the title of the book with us. If you want to, that would be great. Or you can just keep it all to yourself and make your animals and we'll just look at your animals. <laughs> Okay, but that's great. He has a book that shows how to do loom knitted animals. Okay, and um, so she's saying she can hook us up if we're interested in Mary Kay. She doesn't sell it, but her friend still does. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, and so Jamie is saying, hello, 50-something. Where is, let me get this back up. Hello, 50-something. Do you do loom knitting on your channel, 50-something original? So, um... 50 something original. Do you want to kind of explain what you what you do? I don't know if you have can write it in all that fast, but her channel is dedicated as it 
the name implies to uh, mainly women who are 50 something and over. And what she does is she provides lifestyle information, nutrition, uh, her exercise workouts are amazing. And she's just really about um, uh, empowering, um, that word is so overused, women who are over 50. Is that right? 50 something? Don't know if you're still here, but um, that's what 50 something does. Um, I don't think she loomed it. She's just a supporter. Okay. And so let's see what it looks like. I got ahead of myself. Uh, and then then Sandra is saying that YouTube videos, there are, okay, so there are some YouTube videos with luminated birds. Okay, so so we're going to have to maybe tackle an animal. The snake sounds like something we could start with. I don't know, but because we are used to making snake scarves <laughs> by mistake. <laughs> so, but that would be something. Okay, so thank you, Sandra. And then Courtney is saying the book name is 50 Loom Knitted Stuffed Animal Pattern. Wow, I'm going to write that down. 50, okay, so this is the book. If anybody is interested in doing some loom knitting animals, I'm going to put that up a little so we can make it a little bigger. But actually, I'm going to go like this. Okay, so the book is um, 50 loom knitted stuffed animal. Thank you. Thank you so much, Courtney. And I really, I really would like to see some of your animals. If you send me a few pictures, I would be happy to share them with everybody. Okay. And, um, so 50 something. Okay. 50 something here. She's saying I do fitness, health and lifestyle for women over 50. And she says she just loves one boy. Well, I, Thank you. <laughs> and I love Miss 50 something. So, so that's what she does. So I know that a lot of the people who watch my videos are mostly are women, most of them, mostly, and that they are, um, you know, um, uh, from my demographics, they are 50 and something. So, you know, you can get your loom knitting here and then go over there and uh, get some exercises and some lifestyle information over there with Miss 50 something. Okay. So now let's see. The book is from Scarlet Royal, The Loom Muse. Oh, okay. Now that's something. The loom, there is a loom muse. That's okay. That's new to me, but that is very interesting. I'm going to look up all, <laughs> all these things. You know, you know, what's interesting is that I, mm, I haven't been loom knitting that long. I've been loom knitting maybe, mm, maybe four years, but really not, not a long time. So in a lot of ways, I feel like I'm a beginner myself, but thank you. Wait, Scarlet Royal Loom Muse. Okay, and uh, let's see, uh, Sandra is saying, I don't think made on, okay, so you're talking about um, maybe crochet animals and different animals like that. Okay, so, um, and then let's see, you've made a, oh, so Courtney, like I'm saying, if you wanna send us some pictures, I'm sure everybody would just be thrilled to see what is possible because we're still doing the nice and easy kind of things here, but I'd love to see a penguin. That sounds amazing. Okay. So this is not our live, live, real, real live, live. It was just an impromptu thing. I wanted to come in to let you know that the tutorial is coming. I'll have it up by tonight. And I thank you so much for asking. And I thank you so much for your interest. And I thank you so much for being here. Let me see now. Um, Love your videos, 50 something. Okay, uh, uh, so Joanne, and Joanne is in the UK. And she's saying she loves your videos, 50 something. And uh, then we have Courtney. Uh, I, you may follow Scar Scarlet Royal video and I have her. So she's on YouTube as well. Okay, I'm gonna look her up too. All right, so I'm going to go so that I can do the tutorial then. 
I want to thank everybody for just being here. I want to thank everybody for being on my channel. I want to thank everybody for your support. And I just feel your love uh, coming through. And it just makes me so happy. So I'm going to go do that um, video now. So I'm going to say goodbye. Our live, our regular live will be Saturday, 6 p.m. New York time. I want all of you to go out and have the best day possible. Let me just see what Sandra is saying here. <laughs> Take big wheels, keep on spinning. <laughs> Sandra, you're the best. Thank you so much. Okay, everybody, I'm going to go now, and I will see you at the next live. We'll be on Saturday at 6 p.m. if you can be there. Okay. Okay.